so much bounce. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Paul Mitchell YouTube channel. I'm Jessica. For today's video, we are trying out something new. We are trying out a hair hack from one of our international trainers, Brooklyn Cardenas. She is one of our professionals. She is a stylist. She knows what she's talking about. And recently we posted this hair hack and I needed to try it. Basically, it kind of refreshes your hair, gives your hair this bounce, and I'm like, I need to try that. So we're gonna try it out, do our step-by-step -step in this video. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more hair-related videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, along with the notification bell so you get notified every single time we upload. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. My hair is at its natural state. I have the video playing. Uh, I have the volume off, but I will also put the video right here as I'm talking. So she uses the Paw Mitchell Curl XL. I'm actually gonna use the Neuro Iron. I'll have the name down here. It's basically the same size as the Curl XL. It's just an extra large wand and to prep my hair i will be using neuro protect which is a thermal protection for anytime you use any heat tools it's very lightweight it adds shine hold and humidity resistance so i'm just going to spray over all of my hair aside from thermal protectant and the curling iron you will need these hair clips i grabbed these from amazon i'm sure you can get these anywhere at a drugstore so they're just your standard hair clips so it looks like she goes in pretty freely. There's no pattern or rhythm in which she goes and parts her hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave the top layer of my hair up here just like she did, I think. Yeah, she had this parted in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use one of these clips just to hold the hair back here. She gets pretty big pieces, so I'm gonna do the same. I feel like that makes this a little quicker and easier. And the way she curls is I notice she's curling down and doing this thing. She wraps it around, hold that for a little bit, and then slide it down, and then curl the rest, and then she pulls through. So you pretty much have the full curl. Then she grabs the end and just kind of rolls it as if you have a hair roller. So that's what I'm doing. Where does she pin it from? Okay, it looks like she's pinning it right up top, like that. Perfect, okay, that's easy. I did see this hairstyle is great for maybe day two or three hair when it's not the cleanest for a refresher. Be careful with rolling your hair pieces because it might be just a little hot. Just making sure I'm pinning in the right place. All right, we're on the last piece of hair. That was actually quicker than I expected. I done all this in less than 10 minutes. Mind you, I know it doesn't look as great as Brooklyn's presentation, but I, I feel pretty good about it. So the thing about the top hair, so Brooklyn pulled away from the face on that last layer. Don't mind my short breakage in the front. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull away. And then same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and roll away from the face. And notice even though she parts her hair, as you'll see in the video or you saw in the video, she does, okay, how did she, <laughs> how did she do this top one? Oh, 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 she pins it from inside. There we go, okay. So notice that even though she parted her hair down at the center, she still grabbed all of the top, entire top piece of the hair and rolled it back. I'm assuming that's what kind of gives it the flow around um, the framing of your face. So she does leave this on for some time. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I'm gonna give it a good 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some laundry, then I'll be right back. All right, some hairs already started falling out, but I did just about 15 minutes, um, give or take, but honestly, probably on the dot. So she just lets them fall. 
go ahead and pull out all the clips you want to make sure you pull them out from bottom up because if you do the opposite your hair will kind of get tangled as you're pulling down if you go from top to the bottom just makes it a little bit easier and then this one it's doing the same thing hers did so then she just grabs a brush and starts lightly brushing the hair around then she just kind of brushes her hands through it look at all that volume that looks so good you just need to kind of place it to your liking go ahead and brush right here look how much volume and bounce mayor now has that looks so good i love how airy and effortless this looks and honestly this took maybe 30 minutes i thought rolling curling and rolling my hair up would take longer but because those sections were so there were good chunks of hair that i was able to roll up in a clip that it took less amount of times which i think if that makes sense didn't take as long and it gives you such great bounce i thought she didn't have this in the video so i had this just in case because i thought i was going to want to reach for the undone texture spray because she did mention that it's good to do this hair maybe on second or third day hair when you want to refresh it i actually just washed it earlier today and then i let it air dry so i had this on hand to kind of make it look a little bit more texturized a little bit more for the lack of better words gritty because i feel like that's when my hair looks the best but i feel like it doesn't even need that extra volume so if you don't have hair rollers or just kind of want to avoid them because I get it can take some time, it honestly did the job without having those. If you're going to try this hack out, make sure you let us know down below and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to tag us on Instagram. It's at Paul Mitchell. We also post great little reels and videos there of tutorials. If you're looking for inspo, make sure you head there as well. If you're not subscribed here on our YouTube, make sure you do so for more hair related in-depth videos. Of course, on Instagram, they're a little bit shorter form, but make sure you follow us on both of those platforms. We're going to go ahead and leave those links down below. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video bye